Yeah. Oh, this video is not about the gameplay at all. I'ma make this video short as hell. Uh, this video is not including none of y'all niggas in the stage either. Y'all niggas go do whatever the fuck y'all wanna do. But I'm about to make this video simple as hell for y'all. Hopefully this video will help y'all out because I really want y'all to become some good players, man. All right, look. <sighs> For all y'all who got Inside Big Man, just delete him right now, bro. After patch 3, patch 4, Inside Big Man is pointless. If y'all haven't noticed, every top-ranked player on this game, all them niggas who be grinding in the park playing this game 24-7, going on like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 games, 60 game win streaks, they always have an Outside Big Man. Outside Big Man is the best mid-range shooters on this game. If you got badges like Deadeye, all your shots will go in, my nigga, I promise you. Uh... What's the point of having a big man when you got an uh, inside big man when you got to keep running in and out, in and out? You know, so you know all the extra shit you got to do. Why would you want to get carried anyway when you can average like 10 points and 5 rebounds? You know what I'm saying? If you hooping with me, like all y'all know I do not hoop with inside centers. The way I play, I love to drive and kick. I don't like driving to the rack, running into everybody, running into my big man while he down there waiting for me to shoot the ball. I don't like that. I like driving to the rack. Hopefully the big man on the other team try to help out and block my shot. Then I could kick it outside to my outside center, and he going to knock that shot down every time. You know what I'm saying? If you got corner, this is another thing. If you got an outside center with corner specialist, my nigga, you is unstoppable. Straight green lights in the corner wide open, my nigga. Big, inside big man hate checking outside centers because it's nothing they can do. Inside big man cannot guard outside centers on this game at all but outside centers can easily guard big man on this game because they both got the same maxed out rebounding and inside centers cannot shoot so what's the point of having one now i know a lot of y'all love playing with two two guards and then a big man who just gonna grab all y'all misses and shit like that but why y'all think y'all take so much l's you know what i'm saying why y'all think y'all be losing so much you know what i'm saying now that's how them niggas play in the stage for y'all niggas that be in the stage with y'all two guards and y'all inside big man just grabbing all the rebounds just throwing it back out to y'all y'all could go ahead and do y'all thing like i say this is strictly for all my niggas that's in this park grinding you know what i'm saying but if you got an inside center man delete him and make you an outside center man you could start averaging like 10 points and five rebounds bro if you hooping with great players all the top ranked players on this game have outside centers now Outside centers is the way to go. Outside centers is the way you rep up fast and everything, man. I'm telling you. Think about it, man. All right, for all y'all who got a power forward, delete him. Ain't no point in having a fucking power forward on this game. Delete him. All y'all niggas that got a small forward, why do you have a small forward on this game? And they made small forwards dribble like big man on here. If you got a small forward on this game, you might as well have a center, bro. Small forwards cannot speed boost. Small forwards dribble slow as hell. You know what I'm saying? So they made small forwards trash on this game. Put it this way. I'm telling you right now. At this gameplay y'all watching, I have a this is a six foot seven point guard, and I can speed boost and do everything, my nigga. And I'm the same height as y'all small forwards. But y'all small forwards can't do shit. Y'all move like big man. You know what I'm saying? For all y'all shooting guards. What's the point of having a shooting guard when you can have a point guard, my nigga? Shooting guards cannot speed boost. Speed boost on this game is like the side-to-side -side cheese on NBA 2K15. That's how overpowered it is. And for some of y'all that don't know how to speed boost, I'll make some tips and tricks and tutorials for y'all. I already got tips and tricks and tutorials on how to do all that shit. Just go check out my uh, playlist. I got all them tips and tricks for y'all. But only way a shooting guard can speed boost is if you 5'11". But what's the point of making a 5'11 shooting guard when you can make a 5'11 point guard and be way faster and way better? You know what I'm saying? Now, I know some of y'all got some cold-ass shooting guards, probably 99 overall. I know some of y'all probably got some cold-ass small fours, probably 99 overall. But y'all at a disadvantage because y'all cannot speed boost. If you pay attention to me in this game, this is my six foot seven point guard. Y'all see I can speed boost. I can do everything a little point guard can do. But I'm as tall as a small four. You know what I'm saying? So what's the point of you having a six foot seven small four? and you can't even dribble? You can't even move fast. All you could probably do is dunk. How you going to get yourself open? When you can have a six for seven point guard and you can speed boost, you can move fast, you can do anything. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying about shooting guards. What's the point of you having a six for five shooting guard when you can have a six for five point guard and you can speed boost and be way faster and shoot way better? What's the point? You know what I'm saying? What's the point of having a six for six shooting guard or a six for seven shooting guard when you can make a six for six point guard or a six for seven uh a, a, a six for six point guard or a six for seven point guard and speed boost and move fast and shoot way better? Do y'all get what I'm saying? So basically what I'm trying to tell y'all is, man, 
every position on this game is pointless except inside, I mean, outside big man and uh, outside point guards, bro. If you don't have an outside big man or an outside point guard, what are you doing, man? Now, I know some of y'all niggas love playing with y'all inside centers. I'm not taking nothing away from y'all, but if y'all want to become better and y'all want to start getting buckets and averaging like 10 points and 5 rebounds, make these big man play defense, then go make you an outside big man, bro. And hopefully this video makes sense to y'all. Hopefully this click with y'all and y'all go ahead and make y'all a good-ass player, man. But anyway, that's it, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bruh.